hello everyone so today we are going to work on uh, get started with the grenade throwing mechanics so the here is the demonstration so the grenades can affect nearby objects and even if we have a gun in hand it works so the first part is getting this animation uh, so when i press g and if i hold it let me show you again the animation should stop here to allow player to aim and once i release g the grenade will be thrown in this episode let's look into how to set up the inputs and how to uh, create the animation montage and how to play it to stop in the location we need to allow player to aim uh, and then after we release G button or grenade throwing button how to play the rest of the montage so this is what we are going to work on in this episode and after that we will look into how to show the predicted projectile path and how to actually throw the grenade and explode it and affect nearby characters that will come next and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support okay so as the first step I'll add an input action for to throw grenades so I don't think I have any such actions yet yeah hello but not okay so I'll name the action as throw and use the key G because it uh, now let's open our base character so here um, let's set the new event throw so when we press first uh, let's implement let's add the uh, animation so actually I have already imported oh, I don't I already have but I already have an anim animation right. let me import that to wireless mannequin skeleton Right, so this is the animation. Actually, I have uh, used the. Uh, this is the. Uh, this animation is downloaded from Mixamo, and I have mirrored it when I download it from Mixamo to throw the grenade from left hand because the character already have the gun in the right hand. Maybe that's not the best way. Maybe we should take realistically move the gun to the left hand and throw it in the right hand but for now I'm going to use this way because it's much simpler right so let's create a montage so in order to play this animation we need to play this on spine and arm L and arm R and also oh, I didn't play it yet. let's use this method play any montage Uh, 
that's the montage let's use creator right it does play the animation so but we should be able to hold it in the throwing pose and once i release the g character should throw so to allow aiming uh, to make it easier to test let me place character here and poses and one more thing if i have a gun uh, if i have a gun in hand you see the throwing does not happen because character does not move the left hand away from the gun so for that we can add notify state overlay override state just like we did for reload animation this state should be 4 so that I case uh, hand I case will be cancelled and character will move the left hand also away from the gun see okay now the next thing is character should hold uh this pose to allow player to aim and once player release g the rest of the animation should be played so to do that here let's add a new montage section i'll call it loop and then another section and so i loop the looping part so this is what happens when i play okay you can see this vibration uh, so what we can do is let's move this section start end section real close so that there will not be not more than a couple of frames in this pose but still you can see some vibration we can stop that if we move it further wait right now let me duplicate the same same part and when I release, I'll play the same montage starting from the end section. So now as long as I hold G, character will stay in this pose. It looks bad. When I release, it throws the grenade. It looks bad, so maybe we should... good enough you can use a better animation uh, all right what next right uh, now here we have a few complications uh, when I'm holding like this and when I release it plays the complete animation but if I tap you can see this is what happens which is 
not exactly which doesn't exactly look good uh, also while I am holding this if this animation is interrupted with something else see when I release G this happens so to prevent those problems we will have to introduce another variable throw it I'll define a category throw in. We might later have like throw in other stuff like you know stones. I don't know. So that's why I define this category. And by default this should be true. And by default this should be false. So I'll add a montage notifier. So uh, let's add another notified rack and here we can add montage notified and we will this will be executed this will be called when that notifier is uh, hit when this part is played this montage notifier will be fired so here I'll set throw win to true and here only if the throw in is true this part will be executed. After that, we should set throw in to false. Uh, oh, can we do this without using a variable? Because the more variable means code is getting complicated. Alright, uh, let's try something different instead of the variable let's add a gate here let me try that and on notify begin I will open the door and this should be start closed and here I will close the door because even though if I even after if I open this this should be closed again so I think if I do it like this so here what happens is once this montage begins to play this door is closed and it will be opened uh, only after this notifier is played so if animation didn't play up to this level uh, this gate will not be opened right now let's see so if i just tap g oh wait what went wrong oh. Did I forget to save this part? Right now, let's try. Okay, so if I remove now the 
animation plays what if i tap ah so the character is stuck in this throw in pose because this animation is never stopped okay so this gate based approach is not going to work um, so let me re-implement that branch set throw in to do yeah that's something i wanted to try and test so now we know can't do it that way maybe there is a way but i can't think of now and after that set throwing to force and also when we release if this is throw is if this throwing is still false that means maybe we are halfway through this animation so we can simply call stop montage stop anim montage with the with this animation so it will only stop this animation if it is play okay so now let's see Press and hold, release, works as intended, tap, yeah, if I tap and release, character is not going to throw, okay, so character will only throw if I hold the grenade, if I hold G, until it comes to this location, this position, cool, okay, so now we have the animation, uh, completed and I'm going to stop this episode right here in the next episode I'm going to work on uh, the throwing the throwing the actual grenade and showing an arc to show where the grenade will be uh, thrown to like a predicted projectile path something like that and thanks for watching as always project files will be available here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye